Uh, we've had earnings over the last 24 hours from Linamar. Despite U.S. President Donald Trump's optimism on trade after those midterm elections, some business leaders have been concerned, speaking out about the tariffs on steel and aluminum. The head of Linamar, Canada's second largest auto parts maker, Linda Hassan Fratz, has expressed her concerns. She joins us now to talk a little bit more about that subject and the company's latest quarterly results. Linda, thanks for joining us as always. It's a pleasure. So I guess let's start with what's happening with your business overall. Um, how have you felt sure. about business conditions right now? We were just telling that story about Bombardier working on its turnaround. You're in a completely different industry, but, but how are things going? Uh, overall, quite well. I mean, we've got a lot of new business launching. We have 212 programs launching around the world, so we've got some great growth going on. Our Skyjack business, the market's growing in double digits. Uh, our access, our agricultural uh, business, uh, Macdon, is also growing. So, uh, a lot of exciting things going on right around the world. We announced our third quarter results yesterday. Sales were up almost 19 percent. Earnings up almost. 14%, so we're really pleased with, with uh, where things are going. And um, to your point about MacDon, um, in your time as CEO, you have really focused on trying to find ways to continue to grow the traditional part of your business, but also to find ways to diversify. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. We love the idea of having more markets that we're exposed to to give us more opportunities to grow our business. So, you know, as you look at, at, at the world right now, um, uh, let's talk a little bit more about this trade issue. Uh, this week you made a lot of headlines about uh, what's happening with the tariff front, uh, your concerns about these ongoing steel and aluminum tariffs. I know that right now you, you were pretty clear on your conference call that it's not having a dramatic impact on your own business, but you are thinking about the road ahead. Maybe you can elaborate on that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So uh, as, as you, you know, we haven't seen a lot of impact from the tariffs on Linamar specifically, but what we're seeing is impact in the industry more broadly. So Ford came out with uh, results uh, a week or two ago. They, they laid $1 billion uh, of, of cost at the, the feet of tariffs. Uh, and they're not the only company. There's a lot of companies that are blame, blaming tariffs. Uh, for both higher costs and more difficulty selling, mainly American companies, frankly, uh, who are getting hit on the way in and also on the way out uh, when they're trying to export. And the worry, of course, is as that starts to build, as that pain starts to build, uh, eventually we start to see cost increases coming down to uh, consumers. Consumers stop buying and, and, you know, we see the economy start to dial back and we don't want that to happen. I mean, we're in a great place right now. Let's keep this thing going. Let's get rid of these tariffs. What are we doing? We signed a trade deal a month ago. How does it make sense that we still have tariffs in place between Canada, the U.S., and Mexico? It's not logical. What, what, th then what do you make of a comment that surfaced this week uh, that, that perhaps the prime minister would be open to the idea uh, of ratifying this new or, or that, that Canada would be open to the idea of ratifying this new trade deal, even if you've got some of these tariffs lingering. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough situation, right? Because we all need USMCA to get signed. I mean, this is the, you know, the future of North American trade. It's the next generation of NAFTA. We need to get it behind us. But the very fact of signing that agreement means that we shouldn't have tariffs between our countries. So, you know, obviously we'd like to see the tariffs go away, preferably sooner uh, than later, uh, you know, for the reasons that I've just mentioned. So, you know, it's a tough situation. And frankly, I feel like the interests of all three countries are aligned in the sense that we're all better off without the tariffs that are costing all, all, a lot of companies a lot of money and putting our economy at risk. And we're all better off with USMCA signs. So let's get it done and move forward. One thing when you were talking to analysts about this quarter, which I think was quite helpful, was you, you talked about how your business works. So if it's uh, one of your facilities, for example, in the United States, generally you're buying within the United States. So that's not exposing you to any of these tariff issues, for example. Uh, but did, you did point out that, that China is the one that we should also pay attention to because there is a trade war between China and the United States. States, and that's something that your business has to watch very closely as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, as, as noted, the tariffs are not having very much impact on us. It's, a, it's not zero, but it's nothing close to material. But what we do have is uh, over half of it related to the China tariffs. So obviously it's nothing to do with Canada uh, and China. This is all about American suppliers of ours who are buying components uh, from China and then, you know, assembling it into something that they're selling to us. So uh, they're seeing cost increases from that that they're being obviously forced to pass along to us. So this is mainly happening on the industrial side of our business. So for instance, and in, in uh, Skyjack, uh, as an example, we're seeing some cost increases uh, from that. Again, it's not a material amount for us, uh, but I imagine that this is something that a lot of other companies are experiencing as well. And where it really kind of comes to roost is with the the OEM. Like we're a supplier, you know, we're in, you know part of the supply chain, but those costs tend to really rest with the the companies that are the the OEMs, the the automakers, uh, for instance, or you know, the caterpillars or those kind of folks who are making equipment and selling it out in, into the market. The buck kind of stops with them. That's, they're the one who are absorbing these costs, just like we saw uh, with Ford. So, uh, you know, we need, we need to fix it. We need to stop it. Linda, always good to get your perspective. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. Linda Hansen-Frat, CEO of Linamar, joining us with her take on the latest quarterly results from the company and this ongoing tariff uncertainty.